Why should you care about sample size for your A-B tests? Our team talked with dozens of public officials and researchers to try to identify some common challenges they faced when running and interpreting A-B tests. Maybe not surprisingly, the two most common sample size challenges were either a sample size that was too small, making the analysis more difficult or impossible, or having a sample that was too big, having so many people that the cost and logistics can't get approved by leadership. So we built our tool to help make it easier to find a just right sample size to get just right results. For example, a couple of years ago, Ideas42 worked with the World Bank in Belen, a city in Costa Rica facing water shortages. City officials decided to test different versions of a municipal water bill to see if they could encourage residents to reduce their water use. But how many households should they include in the A-B test? And for how long? If they had run the test with only three houses for one month, the test results wouldn't have been precise or representative. On the other hand, if they ran the test with the whole country for a whole year, the results would be more precise, but it would have been expensive to run. Ultimately, we were able to help them determine the answers by finding a sample size that was just right to get precise results and reduce water usage. Our sample size tool is designed to help you find the right balance in your A-B test. A big enough sample so that you'll be able to get a precise, accurate result, but not too much that the test will be impossible to run. To use the sample size tool, just enter the base rate, and the calculator will tell you how many households or people are just right to run your A-B test. For more information about reducing water usage in Belen or calculating sample size, visit abtesting.ideas42.org.